I'm Julie Devon and let's get Zebra Strong. So we're on the letter F for hypermobility. Um, two of my favourite things, feet and fascia. So I thought we'd do a couple of exercises for plantar fasciitis, which can be quite a common condition. The, the painful inflammation of the plantar fascia under your foot. And I see this quite a lot with my hypermobile clients. Um, obviously, we a lot of us have um, flat feet, pronated feet. Um, it makes walking painful. And so if we're putting a lot of pressure through our collapsed arches into the ground, um, and maybe inappropriate footwear, maybe we don't have orthotics if we need orthotics, uh, maybe we've worn the wrong shoes, um, lots of different reasons why this tissue can become inflamed and extremely painful. Um, um, many reasons I've found is that when the plantar fascia gets inflamed, people often have very, very tight calf muscles at the same time. Now, again, just my theory, but when we're walking, if we've got the pronated feet and the feet are rolling in and we haven't got that articulation through the foot to really supinate and, um, and propel the foot forward when we walk, um, maybe we're picking the foot up instead of propelling through the foot when we walk. And I've done some videos on YouTube here about feet and about gait, um, if you want to look at those. Um, but if you're in a position where you can't propel the foot, you don't get that ankle extension, which means you don't get your hip extension, and it means that you literally have to pick your leg up to walk, it can cause quite tight calf muscles. Now, it's a bit like wearing a pair of socks that are too small. So if my calf muscles get really, really tight and I start, um, these socks that I put on are super tight and small, they're gonna start pulling up, which is then gonna pull on the part of the sock down here, which then pulls that. And then if all this fascia gets pulled up because my socks are too small for me, this can get tight and then this can get inflamed. So very, very common. And as I say, if we can work on the calf muscle and stretch this whole area, um, dynamically, of course, not um, static stretching, um, it could significantly help with our plantar fascia. So apart from obviously massaging um, the foot uh, gently and just, you know, giving that plantar fascia a little bit of a massage with your hands, we want to do things like pointing and flexing the foot, which you can do sitting in a chair, you know, really send the heel away, feeling the stretch through here, and then pointing the toes, feeling the calves go a little softened. So when I flex, this is going to stretch, and when I point, this is going to soften. And of course, things like ankle circles are going to be really useful as well. Anything that's moving this whole area is going to be really important for our feet and our fascia. Now, I've got my little step here. If you've got um, uh, a step at home, obviously use the bottom step to do any of these exercises. Do not do them on the top step. Um, we want you on the bottom step. If you live in a flat or an apartment and you don't have a step, you know, use something outside or get a big solid book or, you know, something like this, something like one of these step, um, aerobic steps that you can get off of Amazon or something. So I'm just going to come up. You won't be able to see my face, that's okay. You just need to see my feet. So first one, so I've done my massage. I've done a bit of pointing and flexing in my chair. So I'm going to put the foot that's complaining, the plantar fascia foot, on the step. And I want to try and spread my toes out, spread my foot out. Now, I'm not going to collapse forward. I'm going to travel my body weight forward. 
so that I feel, obviously, don't let your knee come all the way forward, that's gonna hurt your knee. So I'm gonna just travel forward, feel that weight going through the front of that foot. So imagine how I put pressure in the front of the foot, the fascia is going to stretch a little bit. And then I'm gonna come back, and the foot might even lift off a little bit as you do that. So I'm gonna travel forward, feel the fascia stretch, and then I'm gonna come back and just relax. So it's really important that you don't collapse into your hips and just sort of do this. You're controlling the pelvis as it travels forward. The traveling forward of the pelvis puts weight down into the foot and then the pelvis travels back. Okay, nice and controlled. Good for our knee joints as well. Practicing not locking our knees as we come back. Okay, so I've stretched it that way. Now I'm still working on my right leg. I'm just gonna swap legs. So now the right leg is behind me, but I'm still focusing on this one, which I've got the plantar fascia in. So I'm gonna just, instead of um, focusing on the front leg, as I travel forward, I'm gonna lift the heel. Now I can hold onto my wall, I can hold onto a chair. If my balance is compromised, that's okay. Now, as I go back, I'm really gonna lower the heel down. So it's controlled lowering of the heel. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to slowly lower down. So again, you can see the same thing. I'm trying to lengthen the calf muscles and really feel my heel stretching as I reach back. But I'm moving in and out of this. I'm doing dynamic stretching. I'm not holding it and possibly hanging into um, the uh, heel, okay, and one more, okay. Now, again, if you've got a safe bottom step or something you can stand on, you can, of course, stand on these steps, both feet on the steps, but again, this is why you need to do it on your bottom step so that you don't fall backwards. Um, you can do your heel drops. So we're gonna, and again, I'm holding on here, but you can lower the heels down. Again, don't hang around, don't collapse and don't bounce. You're just slowly lowering down. It might be really painful in the calves if you've got very tight calf muscles. And then lifting up. Again, the lifting up comes through the pressure through the front of the foot. So I slowly lower down, I don't bounce. And then I press through the front of my foot to come up. I slowly lower down and I lift up, slowly down, lifting up, last one, slowly down, lifting up and then safely step back onto solid ground. So those are just a few exercises to help for, with our feet and our fascia. Um, I hope that was useful. Let me know um, how you get on. Um, and until next time, stay zebra strong.